Travel <coughs> uh, 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 journey with a fellow space traveler to a bunch of cheesy drawings on a pad of paper made to look like outer space. And here, piloting this powerful spacecraft single-handedly, ripping mightily through the ineffable depths of space, returning to destination Earth from an unknown mission we know zip about, is our dazzling hero. His head buried deeply in his work, his stomach tight with concentration, his body heaving and shaking at the controls. <laughs> Man, them wormholes give me the heebie-jeebies. to find his repoed planet discovered a trail of trash winding through space. Debris which could only come from the sublime and beautiful planet Earth. Aha! The 
trail led Felix to the planet Dorsalfin, a world inhabited by an unsavory race of uncultured bullies. Felix landed and demanded to see the king of Dorsalfin to inquire after the stolen Earth. Uh, listen, if you don't mind, I'd like my planet back. If you don't mind, I'd like my planet back. Hey, who do you think you're talking to, kitty cat? I'm the king, king, the boss of this planet. A classy guy with a taste for the finer things in life, namely... Velcron! Velcron's the most valuable commodity on this planet, Lester. Take a gander at these kingly Velcron accoutrements. Velcron Rolexes, Pally! And talk about class! Check out these Velcron villains! And how about these Velcron chains? Is this classy or what? Look, I don't care about your non-liquid adhesive fetish, Finhead! I want to know what you did with the Earth, and I want to know now! Shut up, punk! before I resort to a violent type action. As it so happens, I have an audio-visual aid handy that addresses the very question of which you speak. Lights! What I did with the oik. Written, directed, and narrated by the king. FBI warning. Any duplication of this here film will result in a violent type action. Velcron, the most priceless thing in the universe. And what's that got to do with the oik? I'll tell you. I had just scored the biggest part of the night in a friendly game of Old Maid when this bum I'm playing with cries poor house on me. I was ready to bump off the loser when he whips out this piece of paper. A deed to the planet Earth. This joker claimed the Earth had warehouses full of felt cloth. So after I repoed the planet, I stuck it in my royal safety deposit box for safekeeping. The end. Any questions? Yeah. I want the Earth back and I want it now! That ain't a question, punk. Who cares about the Earth anyway? Here, have a stinking cigar. that cigar gag on suckers all over the galaxy. In fact, I got a whole factory making these exploding cigars day and night. You're the sucker, not me. That deed to the Earth is fake. Now put the Earth back pronto! No can do, furball. You're starting to bug me. Put him in the royal dungeon! Ah! Just 
This was gonna steal my Veltron! I'm the king! Felix, nobody welches on the king and gets away with it. You stink! <laughs> and so, for saving the Earth and its precious Falcron supply, the Falcron magnets of the world honored the courageous Felix the Cat with a medal for heroism. But just as Felix was about to read his acceptance speech... Detective Seamus H. Goldcrow here to give you the facts, the skinny, the scam, the boot, on the most terrifying case of my career. Case number 986, Attack of the Tacky. It was a wormy day in the Big Apple, just like any other day. Nobody could have expected what was about to happen. Telling you, seeing the lady decked out in fish makes a guy mad. No one has yet taken credit for this unspeakable atrocity. But let me assure you that we will not allow this to happen again. The problem is completely 100% under control. I want this monster caught. All vacations and days off are canceled until this fiend is brought to justice. Turn him off, turn him off. The big question was, what kind of a screwball would do such a thing? Then, suddenly it hit me. Daffy Designer disappears. Fufu Ghosh swears revenge. Somehow this Fufu ghost jerk was involved in this right up to his pinking shears. This muffin head designer had been laughed right out of the business when he came out with those fish head clothes. <laughs> what a bunch of freaks! Hey, somebody give me a fish stick. <laughs> How dare you cretins laugh at my art? You cannot appreciate true beauty. Well, laugh now, because I'll make you all pay. Do you hear me? You'll be sorry. <laughs> oh, you'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. I was already sorry. My number one suspect was on the lam, and I didn't know where to start looking. I needed help from somebody who knew something about the world of high fashion. Hey, Gold Crow, what do you know? Bingo! Felix O'Palamine, you're in the right place at the right time. This is your lucky day. Sometimes fate steps in and takes you on a glorious ride through the clouds, blinding you with stardust till you don't know if you're coming or going. Would you pipe down, pal, and tell me what you're talking about? This is what I'm talking about. I need your help, pal. Fufu Ghosh. Maybe you ought to handle this one. He looks like a mook to me. Um, did I happen to mention a reward? Fourteen bucks. That's seven bucks a piece. Count me in, Brainiac. <laughs> but how am I supposed to find Fufu? You got any leads? None. 
We gotta concentrate. <laughs> hey, what's that? It's a fish head. I saw a trail of them leading down to the pier. Hey, maybe you got something there, Blackie. They dump all those fish guts? You got it, Gumshoe. Follow me. Kid, I think we're on to something. I don't know what we're on to, but we are definitely on to something. Yeah! Sure glad my mama wasn't a tuna. It's a fish shirt sweat chop. You know, this might sound kind of funny, but these outfits kind of grow on you. But I don't get it. Who'd be wasting their time making all of Fufu's lousy outfits? Who do you think, man? I feel absolutely drunk with power. Come, my silent slaves. Our work is almost complete. I've redesigned the machine for the final test. Now line up, hurry, line up, everybody, like good little soldiers. Go! What a freak! Eureka! I have succeeded at last. They thought I was mad when I said that they'd all be wearing my clothes, but now I've done it. I've really actually done it. All of New York City, from the Bowery to Hex Kitchen, from Queens to Long Island, they'll all be wearing my clothes, my wonderful, wonderful clothes. All New York will bow down to me. Who said that? Reveal yourself, intruder. It is useless to resist. Show yourself at once. So, a couple of spies tried to steal my fashion secrets, eh? Steal that junk? You gotta be a little loopy, pal. And if you think New Yorkers are gonna wear your stinking fishy fashions, you're a couple of slices short of a loaf! <laughs> no one laughs at Fufu -fu goes. <laughs> we'll just see who's the crazy one. Slaves, put them in the hamper until I have time to destroy them permanently. Now, get them out! Out of my sight and good riddance to bad rubbish. Ah! Seamus, you got a big beak. We gotta get out of here. I can't take much more of this. This place really stinks. This might sound kind of funny, but this stench kind of grows on you. <laughs> Ew! I think it is growing on you. I got a plan. My lead, Gumshoe. Now we look just like them mannequin mooks. Do, 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 do. You didn't actually think you'd fool anybody, did you? I mean, really, I would think it was laughable if I wasn't so angry! Ah, your mother dresses you funny, fat boy. <laughs> See? I told you I'd get us out of this mess. Out of this mess? What do you call these stinking fish guts? Ah, pipe down, Seamus. At least we're completely safe. Where's the fish? Ah! 
Seamus, we gotta move fast. We gotta roll this ray gun into the ocean and get rid of it once and for all. Open that door before they come back in. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. I'll get the door. Slaves, search the entire island for the intruders. I want them brought back dead or alive. Be careful with that thing. It's loaded. Ah, don't worry about me. You just... Whoa! from a fashion disaster. Like I said, it kind of grows on you. <laughs>